Awake in the crowd now, Professor Professor! Good! Now save the world leader before they reach her! You must leave now, world leader. The angry mob is but seconds away. <laughs> My wife is right. She is guilty of nothing. She did not steal the spoons. Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Come on, guys! Is this really the answer? Look at yourselves! Mm -hmm. Chasing wild rumors and accusing the innocent! Uh, spoons! Yeah! I miss my spoons, too. I guess I miss the simple things like cracking a boiled egg or scraping that last bit of Mom's apple pie from the plate and looking in the back of my spoon at that cookie reflection you get. You know, the one with the big nose and all. So go home! Families, people, and I promise we'll find out who's taken your spoons. Yeah. Trust me. Take uh -huh. <gasps> your <gasps> <got our> spoons. <gasps> Run! Professor, professor, the spoons—they're falling from me, out of me. <laughs> Help! 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 Who's shouting help? It's the parrots! Help. They've been doing it all day! Ah! Why didn't you tell me this before? At last, everything is starting to make complete sense! Big to hold spoon thief! Big to hold spoon thief! Big to hold spoon thief! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <coughs> uh, mm. I would like to welcome Peak Abu, leader of the Jasimi tribe, to the Uz base. My name, Peak Abu, for reasons of security, is changed to daily. Today, you may call me. Oh, Auntie Norbert. Why are you talking to a parrot, Auntie Norbert? And why is his hair a mess? <laughs> ah, Peak Abu is in the chair, not. On the perch. The Jasimi tribe are one of the world's greatest secrets. They hide in your blind spot. A spot on the back of your eyes that stops you seeing a tiny little bit of the world. Yeah, right. You bet yeah, right. Millions of them are walking around and you just don't see them. Sorry. Demonstrate, Professor Professor. Of course, Auntie Norbert. I shall now hand pick Abu... A spoon. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Only animals can see and hear the Ducimi tribe. So, we have to talk to Peekaboo via a parrot. Ah. Uh, doctor, doctor, uh, doctor, doctor. What? Does she know about the Ducimi tribe, Peekaboo? Yes, uh, doctor, doctor. And is she making you steal all the spoons? Oh, who's a pretty boy, then? Why, uh, thank you, Peekaboo. <laughs> I do my best. I but this think is that hardly... was the parrot talking. What? Oh, oh. Call coming through from Dr. Doctor. Do you want to take it? No! Tell her we're busy. Hi, bad guys. <sighs> Feeling like the world hates you? Well, these spoons are just the beginning. What do you mean? Missing anything else yet? Oh, my! Your hair seems a mess today. I couldn't find my comb this morning. Stick to that point, woman. What have you stolen now? <laughs> Every comb and brush in the world has just been stolen. Spoons, okay. But not the hair. Not the hair. I'm Stacy Stern. Feeding through position of Dr. Doctor's last broadcast. Thanks, Professor Professor. News flash coming in from Asia. One chopstick has been stolen from every pair, making them completely unusable. <laughs> but why don't they just... Dr. Doctor should be right below you now. I smell a trap. Finding her was just too easy. Let's move in slow. <laughs> what? <laughs> See? Everything I told you is true. Us agents are just cheap comb and spoon thieves. It's true. They are thieves. It was a setup. I'll make my way to the spider ship under the street. The answer must be in there. 
I'll draw the crowd away. There must be something here. <laughs> Big cage for a parrot. A parrot? Hello? Any just see me here? Uh, the glasses! Uh, the glasses! Uh. Whoa! These are some glasses! They make everything seem so... <gasps> I can see you! But I can't hear you! Hell! I'll have you out of there in a... Anita Knight, prepare for rescue. What? Grab the line, Victor! Thanks, Ray! So, a member of the Jasimi tribe is being held captive by Dr. Doctor. Uh, Iris? Uh, Iris? My daughter! Uh, Iris! Chief Peak Abu's daughter kidnapped? So that is why they do as Dr. Doctor asks. But we need to see Iris to rescue her. We need Dr. Doctor's special glasses. There is another way to see the Jasimi tribe. To have your blind spots removed. Are you sure? That sounds a bit... Totally untested and highly dangerous. Maybe this was a bad idea. With your blind spots removed, everything will become clear. Pull down the head bucket. Um... Uh... Are you sure this'll work? That depends what you mean by sure. Okay. Huh? Huh? Oh dear. What? Nothing. Now pull the head bucket down. Um. This is not so. Oh, look, his little giant spots. How sweet. Wow! Victor, are you still alive? Yes, I'm still alive. Victor, how many fingers am I holding up? Fingers? <laughs> He's fine. Just a little finger joke there. Fingers! <laughs> Huh? Wow! I am Peak Abu, leader of the Jasimi tribe. Oh boy. Population huh? getting uglier. Trying to get away, but can't release the main pod. We're too heavy for some reason. You can't take off because the pod is filled with the world's television sets being held by a tribe of people who hide in your blind spot. Oh, yeah, that'd do it. Please, rescue my daughter, Iris. Then my tribe will be free again. Victor, you're disappearing. Ah, minor side effect. Minor? I'll rescue Iris. It's easier if I'm invisible. Good luck, Victor. I think you can drop the television now, Peekaboo. Until my daughter is free, I must do as Dr. Doctor bids. <laughs> Us are done for! No one gets away with stealing the world's televisions! <laughs> let me go! Now! No! I will never let you go! With us out of the way, I have so much your tribe can do for me! <laughs> Empty Skybike heading towards us, Doctor Doctor! Victor Bolt and Peekaboo! <laughs> Destroy them! They can see us! No, they can see the bike! Mind spots aren't that big, fucko! Uh, uh, now you tell me! I'm sorry, Peekaboo. I failed you and your daughter. The chief's daughter will pay for this! Where is she? In the cage, I guess. 
Oh. Anita! Iris! Papa! Oh! oh. <laughs> oh. You had your blind spots removed! Yes, and thanks to you drawing Dr. Doctor's fire, I was able to rescue Iris! Oh, you! You are good! <laughs> After them! We're too heavy, Doctor Doctor! Where should we put all the televisions, Doctor Doctor? Oh, no! It's her, I tell you! It's her televisions! Please accept these ceremonial pens as a gift. Thanks. Hey, I lost this about a year ago. And so, the people who live in our blind spots are no longer making the parrot shout, Help! And us are cleared of stealing spoons, combs and televisions. Everybody happy? No! No! I never said I've been offered a job in London. Decisions must be made. So I'm leaving. Let's put this in our place. Questions must be answered. One becomes all, with the blood of a warrior. Fears must be overcome. Not leaving your lives. Spirit Beast will never be yours! The incredible final episodes of Tracy Beaker Returns and Spirit Warriors. CBBC's finale Friday. The sky is falling! Must see TV, today from 5.15 on the CBBC channel. <laughs>